Here are my award predictions for the 2024 MLB season. Feel free to let me know what I got wrong down below. Starting with AL Rookie of the Year, I have Jackson Holiday. He's dominated at every level he's played at, and if he has a good spring training, he will probably be the opening day second baseman for the Orioles, and if he does break camp, I expect him to put up big numbers this season. Winning NL Rookie of the Year, I have Yoshinobu Yamamoto. While I personally don't think players who have played professionally in other leagues should count as rookies their first year in MLB, award voters have shown in the past that they do not care at all about that. And with Yamamoto arguably being the greatest pitcher to ever come out of MPB, I think he will have an exceptional rookie season this year. Winning AL Cy Young, I have George Kirby. Watching any one of his starts, you could tell he's easily a top five filthiest pitchers in baseball with arguably the best command in the game. I think he's a lock for at least one Cy Young in his career, maybe even two. And I think his first one will be coming in 2024. Winning NL Cy Young, I have Zach Gallen. Gallen has easily become one of the best starters in baseball the past few seasons, and I don't think this one is a controversial take, as most people probably think Gallen is gonna win the NL Cy Young this year. Winning AL Comeback Player of the Year, I have Carlos Rodon. Rodon has had his fair share of ups and downs, and this isn't his first time he's come off of a terrible season. He looks like he's in the best shape of his life, and I think he will have an amazing year. Winning NL Comeback Player of the Year, I have Chris Sell. With him joining the Juggernaut Braves, I have full confidence he will be restored the vintage Chris Sell and be elite this season. Winning AL MVP, I have Mike Trout. And before you guys get mad at me in the comments sections, I want you to think about this. With Otani leaving, Trout now has a DH spot open for him. To get rest days, his biggest problem has been staying on the field. If he plays 140 games this season, historically he gets MVP votes. So with that being said, I would expect a very healthy Mike Trout this season and an MVP award winning one. And finally, winning NL MVP, I have Bryce Harper. Harper finished top 5 in MVP while coming off a of Tommy John and missing 2 months of the season. He's also playing first base now, which is going to make him be able to focus more on hitting, and I think he will have an insane year at the plate this year and will win NL MVP. What did I get wrong?